Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for your patience. Let us now commence our show this evening. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with the prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for the protection of hands and inclusion Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor, whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan. In me, he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands and inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encountered. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, Help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone, all organizations, and all the people who formerly worked with the organization who made terrible mistakes and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The, the 
rules depicted upon it due to COVID-19. This is mga pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new episode of Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion. Today is Saturday, the 2nd of October, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Tanahashi and my co-hosts for tonight are Christian Chan and Asher Santos. And we're broadcasting simultaneously on Inco Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. As we commence our show this evening, here is our daily verse for today. From 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 24. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. We shall commence our presentation in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Oh, 
Ay, wala nang pagpasok! Hindi naman kita, nakunta nang kita! Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh. Punta ko dyan, oo. Oh. Hindi oh. naman kita, arte mo eh. Dahil ka lang. Ano bang meron? Ano bang meron? Uh... Ang dami pa siya. Ah, uh... wait here. Welcome back to our show, Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion. And our topic for this evening is we will discuss to you about how to appreciate animals and pets. So, as we begin our topic, here is my question. How can you appreciate animals and pets for you? Um, I'm sure you go first. Okay, because po ano nagagaan natin yung mga pets po because ano siya yung nagkikare natin sa ano pati na sa pagyayabang yama or should I say pagliliban po po sa mga tao po habang haba walang ginagawa po How about you Christian? Um, me treat pets like how you treat people. Show them love and care, and tend to their daily needs. Okay, so without further ado, let us begin our presentation. If human behavior teaches us anything as we progress as a society, it's that. We have done nothing to deserve the unconditional love we receive from dogs. And yes, contrary to popular belief, cats too. Having a pet sounds interesting and fun, but adopting a pet and taking care of them is a big responsibility. Proper pet care is the basis of responsible pet ownership. It's important when you adopt a pet, to understand it is a lifetime commitment to a furry family member that depends on you for his or her health and well-being. So, in layman's term, ladies and gentlemen, in appreciating animals and pets, we need to treat them like people. They're the second persons of all. Animals and pets. That's why we need to love them as well. So, to read... This part, I will give the floor to Christian Chan and his explanation. Christian, the floor is yours. Thank you. Happily, the unconditional love and joy that pets bring to our lives more than makes up for the added responsibility that comes with welcoming adding a free child to your family. To ensure your pet's happiness, happiness following are the necessities that all responsible pet owners need to provide. Next slide, please. Um, Did you explain? Yes. Um, how I think it requires a bit more um, explanation because it says following are the necessities, but more or less, pro base, pro more or less the what I would explain there is, um, having a pet is like a trade off. You get you get you get companionship from them, but you also have to be responsible for them. As I read this, family. yes. 
Through this essence, I will give the floor to Asher Santos. Asher, the floor is yours. Okay, okay, okay. Ready now. Essence. Another reason that people should be thankful for animals is the documented benefit that living with pets has on human health. Many studies have shown that pets reduce the effects of stress or high blood pressure in particular, speed recovery from major illness or surgery, and relieve the depression. Can you, can you please elaborate? Oh, oh, kasi yung isang tao na may mga pets po, po, po hindi lang siya nakakatulong po sa bawas sa stress po, lalo na pag napap- marami tambakan ng trabaho sa bahay, sa office, o sa whatever po. But, but, lalo, you know, pag may pressure ka, tapos mabilis ma-recover po mula sa ano sa illness po. po lalo na pag sa mahabang araw ng trabaho or, or sa school or whatever po. Pati na yung sa surgery and release depression po. Para hindi na siya maano. Magiging depressed po. Po isa tao pag may pets po. Okay. So, how can we appreciate animals and pets? Buy them a treat. Every pet loves a treat, especially a dog with a bone. Bring them home something tasty or surprise them with a new chicken jerky your pet will feel appreciated especially in his belly meaning you can buy dog food as well as a treat for animals and pets in spending quality time with your pet like humans pets need attention too and while money can always buy happiness it comes down to the thought make it a point to spend at least two to three hours with your pet each week if you have a dog and if you own a dog, take them to the dog park for a few hours of uninterrupted fun or bring them along on your next camping trip so that they can explore the great outdoors with you and your family. If you have a cat, lay on the floor with them and toss a pink mouse back and forth. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, in spending quality time with your pets and buying a treat, it's very important so Animals and pets will be happy and appreciated if you do this as well. To read these two ways, I will give the floor to Christian Chan. Christian, the floor is yours. Okay. Hot test. Set up a play date. Animals like people need to socialize with others of their kind. Schedule a caring play date with present family and their animals so that your friend can enjoy from your pet can enjoy some social interaction. Do something new together. From taking up frisbee in the park to hiking nature trails, there's bound to be a few things that both you and your pet don't know how to do. By learning something new at the same time, you and your pet can bond in a new and exciting way, which will strengthen your relationship and give you each a new newfound respect for each other. Oh, well, I dub two dogs at home and I never set up play dates or do something new since our house is uh, a bit on, a bit low on backyards sadly well, well, guys guys yes what does this mean hmm. what does this mean spending time like setting up a play date and also to do something new together meaning you use the time to spend time with pets especially when we go out as well oh, lalo, lalo pag pupunta sa mall sa open spaces po sa park so or wherever po yes. so this means that even before this trying time we always go out with our pets right mm. But now, because of this trying time since last year, all our pets, including us, need to stay at home. We can spend in time with our pets, maybe in the garage or a nearby small park as well, right? 
right yes. guys yes yes okay so three necessity what are the necessities of pets i will give the floor to asher santos and his explanation necessities necessities is pets need healthy food just like people pets need food that meets their specific nutritional needs dog foods are designed to meet a dog's nutritional needs and cat foods are designed to meet a cat's nutritional needs importantly their dietary needs are very different puppies require different food from senior dogs pets with health issues may require special diets table scraps are typically not good for dogs and cats because many of the foods we eat such as salt garlic and onions are bad for your pets health and can make them sick or even be fatal you can use you use healthy food pets for dapat you specific for for their nutrition score you dog you for example your dog foods is especially for dogs only you can't put especially designated for cats only you na bibi sa mga hindi lang sa mga pet stores dami pat dami sa mga supermarkets po groceries po po ang dami yung mabibihan po po yung mga pet food po yung tamang po is sa uh, nutrition po especially yung, yung puppies po kailangan kasi ng different foods po mula sa mga senior dogs po kailangan um, din also yung sa pets po po with health issues po ng of course special diet po kasi yung table scrap po yung hindi siya ano yung hit yung magiging bad sa, sa katawan po ay iniiwasan po talaga. How about you, Christian? Yes. Why does pets need healthy food? Because they need to live healthily like he, us, our own, uh, their owners. Okay. So what are the foods that, are, that pets are allowed to eat? Dog foods, cat food? Mm. What are the dogs Sometimes that are allowed to eat? Human foods, but the foods are sometimes pets human are allowed foods, to but also depending on the owner. How about dog foods, cat foods? Christian? As long as as long as they have enough nutrition, then yes. Our dog How is about pet milk as a drink? You can give them milk, yeah. Cats like them. And what are the foods that are not allowed for dogs and other animals? Chocolate for dogs. What chocolate for, I have two dogs. Chocolate, onion, uh, chocolate and garl and onions. They're not allowed for dogs. Chocolate contains a substance that's poisonous to their dogs and can and, and may affect their nervous system. Okay. Here. Don't forget the, to give pets the right amount of food too. Overfeeding your pet can lead to obesity which could trigger more health health problems such as heart disease, renal problems, and more. Weigh your options when it comes to pet food to avoid these sicknesses. And if you don't exactly what comes, the foods that are best for your pet, it's a great idea to ask the opinion of your veterinarian, meaning you should only give the right amount of food. Too much food eating can lead to obesity and, and health problems as well. Give your pets 24-7 access to fresh drinking water. Just like human beings, pets need water in order for you to survive. You should provide a clean, fresh bowl of water to all animals in your care. Make it accessible by placing it near their food bowl. And remember to refill your pet's water bowl at least two times a day. And the purpose is to, to make your pet cool, hydrated, and healthy. If your pet lives in water like fish and turtles, clean aquariums at least one a week. Once a week. Failing to do so could lead to smelly tanks and sick pets. Meaning, meaning water is very important. So, Usher and Christian, my question mm. is, 
Why is water important for pets? Because pets are animals and you need both food and water to live. Without water, what will happen? Of course, mag, mag kakaroon ng sick po, sakit. Tsaka pag dehydrate po sa mga pets po mismo. Okay. Our next is this. In, to read this slide, I will give the floor to Christian Chan. Thank you, Carlos. Proper pet care involves includes providing a safe, cozy shelter. Cars, aggressive dogs, and predators are an ongoing threat to cats, which is why they should be kept indoors for their own safety. Many cats enjoy having a covered bed or cocoon-like space inside where they can retreat to and feel safe. I may not be a cat, I may not be a cat person, but every pet should live with their owners properly. It may not be a cage, but it can at least it has to be a, a, a good shelter for them, where they can be safe and at the same time where where we can also be safe. If you let your dog out in your fence, in yard, off leash, make sure he needs to wear tags and microchip and that the microchip is registered and your contact information is up to date. This is done through registration with your pet. Always provide chain and shelter along with water. Indoors, dogs are typically enjoy having their own bed and older dogs may benefit from having an orthopedic bed. This is done for their safety and for their protection as well, ladies and gentlemen. Asher, can you read this, please? This slide. Okay. Pets need protection from extreme hot and cold temperatures and other extreme weather and should be expected to live exclusively outside. Another concern is predators like coyotes who tend to lurk at night but are often present in the daytime as well. They might consider your pets are suitable prey. What does this mean? Of course, you need kasi ng protection from, lineup, from extreme hot lana for, for summer, pag summer, pati cold temperatures, pag ano, sa malamig ka panahon, and especially sa extreme weather, your po, po lana pag umuulan, may typhoon, may umuulan po, Pets need to go to the bathroom regularly. Many types of pets can be housebroken, allowing them the opportunity to roam the house without the worries of accidents. Cats should provide at least one litter box, meaning pets need to go to the bathroom regularly in order for them to take a shower as well. To read this slide, I will give the floor to Christian Chan. Puppies generally need a potty break every one or two hours during the day. A general rule of thumb is that a puppy, a puppy can hold it for as many hours as she is months old, plus one. For example, a three-month-old puppy should have at least one bathroom break every four hours. You learn the needs of your dog, own dog, but no dog should expect to hold it more than six hours. Senior dogs also need to leave themselves more frequently to respect other people. Dogs can be taught how to use doggy doors, potty pads, or to wait for walks to relieve themselves. No matter where pet's bathroom is, be sure to clean it regularly. Observe proper hygiene and sanitation will prevent dirt and bacteria from piling up and help protect your pet's health. Your pets will greatly appreciate having a clean area to do their business to. Um, when, of course, we also need to know when nature call when pet nature calls for our pets. So we have to give them a, give them a safe space to relieve themselves. And to watch out when they need to leave themselves. And teach them a proper way and proper place to leave themselves. Asher, can you read this slide, please? Okay. Puppies generally... Ay, wait, sana ba? Sana ba tayo? Make sure that your pet gets regular exercise. Proper pet care also includes exercising your pet Exercise is an important part of your pet's mental as well as physical health. If you spend any time on social media, 
you know that all kinds of animals like to play, such as this ball play turtle, this duck play patch by himself, or this bird play with a red cap. Of course, kailangan din ng, ano, ng exercise with the dog para maging healthy. Katulad sa, ano, yung dog po, yung, yung nawagas sa kamay po ng ganito. O yung pag may bird po na, na hawak-hawak ka na, yung or something at uh, para maging Yun. healthy po yung dog po. Okay. <laughs> Pets also benefit from socialization, whether that's regular interaction with you, having guests come over or trips outside of the house, expand their horizons and improve their people skills while helping them to safely experience new things. So this means that that pets need to, to socialize, regardless if they do, going inside or outside of the house it's the reason why we need to do this is to explore new things as well christian can you read this slide please thank you pets require doctor visits and healthy habits to ensure that your pets are healthy and nimble you should take them to a local trusted vet for wellness checkups at least once a year keeping up on your pets vaccinations is essential Clean teeth and healthy gums also play an important role in your pet's health. If your furry friend is showing signs of symptoms of getting of being sick, take them to your vet or animal hospital right away to get them feeling better sooner rather than later. Another way to keep your pets healthy and happy is to regularly groom them if needed. Matted fur can be painful and unhealthy for dogs. Dogs and cats may not like it, but bats, brushings and nail trims and flea tick removal may be necessary for pets' well-being. Why is this important, Christian? Because uh, we want our pets to be healthy, and so we must also take them to the to the doctor. Like us, we have doctors for when you're sick, and so our and so our pets will also have, also have doctors for when they're sick as well. How to take care of pets? Feed your pet a good and high quality food. Meaning, you should only eat dog foods or cat food. As well, avoid any food that are very prohibited for pets as well. Take them for a walk every day for at least half an hour. Provide them with the needed vaccination on time. Keep a clean and hygienic environment for them and visit vet veterinarians on a weekly or monthly basis. Can you explain this further, please? Elaborate this further, please. Christian for the first step. Feed your pet good and high quality feed your pet good and high quality foods. Feed them healthy foods. Um feed them healthy food healthy dog and cat foods that are pro appropriate for them. Or if not, feed them fruits and vegetables once a while that they can and, and only those that they can stomach. Can you elaborate this, Asher? Okay. Of course you take them for a walk every Hour for this half an hour. Of course, you yeah, this uh, pets food, but the uh, dog or cat na mag walkie walkie key for every day po at this half hour po para hindi po ma pagod po or ma body po po especially kung pupunta sa park or much open spaces po talaga. Also, the reason why we need vaccination for pets. The reason why they need vaccination for pets is this is for their safety. And also for their protection. Pet vaccinations are necessary in order for them to prevent distemper hepatitis, para influenza, parvovirus, and rabies. As a in keeping a clean and hygienic environment for them, it means that we need to make sure that our animals should be clean as well. And also to visit veterinarians on a weekly or monthly basis in case if your pet is sick. Can you read this and explain this further, please, Christian? 
Which one? All of okay. these four. Engage and do not leave them alone for a long time, of course. You might not know when your house will be trashed. Sometimes. You provide them with a good and comfortable shelter. That's that's um, that's self explanatory. You mean Adam must need houses the way humans do. Keep them away from dust and allergies so that they don't get runny noses. And love them unconditionally. Treat them like your family and talk to them. Of course, they're your companions. Don't just leave them alone. Asher, can you read these two, please? Do in-depth research about care for your pet. While these steps are general guidelines for pet ownership, each animal is different and you need to adapt accordingly. Ask friends who have similar pets, check out books from the library, and search internet discussion boards about your breed or pet species. You can never know too much. Give your pet your affection. Through this is certainly true of dogs and cats, even fish and lizards require dedication and love to really thrive. Animals are social beings much like humans and you need to set aside time to play with your pets so they get exercise and mental situations both. Bakit kailangan ito, Asher? Because number one po is mag-ask ka sa friends po you ng makaiba po ng friends po 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 para po perfect for them po tapos mag research ka ka about sa ano sa may sa species po sa ng animals po po and so on then you give your pets your affection naman po is ano is kailangan po na, na maging hug and lovable po to each other po to kasi Christian, can you read this please? These two. Okay. Train your pet if it's the kind of pet that needs it. A major part of caring for a pet is training. Okay. Training is essential for this for the safety of the animal and the people who interact with it. Make time for your pet. Some animals require more attention than others, so the amount of time they need is often relative. Just be sure that you're capable of fully paying whatever need that they that may be. Um, how do I say this? Um, how they connect the two? Uh, training your pet. Uh, training your pet. Um, involves a certain involve it. Tra- wait, training your pet also brings about the companionship between you and your pet. It also builds trust. At the same time, it also makes your pet learn. And, and you learn as well. Okay. Of course, the most important thing is to love your pet. Why, ladies and gentlemen? It's because, well, first of all, love is what your relationship with your pet has to be about. Show him or her your affection by petting and playing. Your pet will be a member of your family. So treat it like one. A good cuddle will do the both of you good. Pets respond to the tone of people's voices as well as touch. Animals, other animals like horses need attention. Like wild horses, if you don't love them properly, they pretty much turn into mustang. Give them treat once in a while, take a walk with them or ride them for fun. Train a pet with positive reinforcement, never cruelty or abuse. Keep your pet and its environment clean. If you have a small animal, clean their cage weekly. You're not showing your pet love if you let him sit in field. If you have a dog, vacuum her regularly from the house and wash their dog bed from time to time. Exactly to clean your pet can result in infection, so keep on top of its cleanliness. To read this provision and the penalty, I will give the floor to Christian Chan. Provision, Republic Act Number 8485 says, Section 6, It shall be unlawful for any person to, pro- to neglect to provide adequate care, sustenance, or shelter, maltreat any animal, or to subject any dog or horse to dog fights or horse fights, sustenance or shelter, or maltreat or use the same in research or experiments. 
any person violates the provisions action on upon conviction by final judgment, being punished by imprisonment of not less than six months, nor more than two years, or a fine of not less than 1,000 pesos, nor more than 5,000 pesos, or both, at the discretion of the court. Be this kind means, to animals. Be kind to animals. Means, this means that animal cruelty. So what is animal cruelty, Christian? Animal cruelty. By basis of being cruel or mal or be or performing malpractice on animals. Asher, what is animal cruelty? Can you please meet please? Hello, Asher. Asher. So, sorry, okay na. Okay. Nakabit pala ako. Okay, you, ano, you, that out po, you, you, nag, you fight, fight dog fights, yung mga horse fights po, you, you, nagsasagpukag po sila, po, po, ang dami eh. Tapos, pe-penalty pa po, 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 po sila may sala po, po, nang gumawa po mismo. So, for me, animal cruelty, animal cruelty, Animal cruelty, this is known as animal abuse, animal ne neglect, or animal cruelty. This is done through suffering or harm upon any non-human animal. So in the Philippines, there is a law that prohibits that. The penalty is based on this is only... Six months to two years imprisonment, one thousand peso to five thousand peso fine or both, at the discretion of the court. Meaning, this is a form of disrespect to animals as well, and we didn't appreciate those well. Hindi natin appreciate ito ng maigi. Meaning, it leads to animal cruelty or animal fights. Okay? To summarize our topic here, no matter what type of furry friend you're, you're welcoming into your family, there are some basic animal care guidelines that you should follow. Bringing a new pet into your house can be as intimidating as it is exciting. Animal cruelty and pet neglect are criminal offenses. Concerned citizens must not turn a blind eye because helpless animals cannot defend themselves. Interacting with animals has been shown to decrease levels of cortisol and lower blood pressure. Other studies have found that animals can reduce loneliness, increase feelings of social support, and boost your mood. So, as what we have learned from our topic, we discussed about how to appreciate pets. So, based on my experience, I have lots of pets in my house. Here, I have a pet. It's a pet dog. And I also have another one in my grandparents' house. All of these are well-maintained by other people. How about you guys? Do you have pets? Yes. One, chi one senior chihuahua and one um... What else, Christian? One, one, I, how do you say this? One chihuahua and one, uh, mixed breed. Uh, who takes care of those? My, us in the family. One of us. How about you, Asher? Do you have a pet? Um, yes po. I know. White dog po. White dog po. My white dog yata. Isa lang yung pet namin eh. Yung dog lang, yung aso lang. Okay, so we need to appreciate animals and pets. Because without these, what will happen? Guys. Guys, hmm? without Sorry. appreciating animals or pets, what will happen? 
They will die or they, we will lose trust. How about you, Asher? Magigi, no hip po, and sad po, pag wala pets po. Dapat po is, ano, is, ano siya, um, magi healthy and good po. Okay. So, for me, we need to, to take care of animals and this is done in order for us to be kind with them just like these are your treat these animals as your people ladies and gentlemen and also we must continue the fight against animal cruelty right guys right what is our call to action be nice do unto others what you want others do unto you how about you asher i know i'm called to action in appreciating animals and pets be nice, be good, be friendship, and be strong for uh, animals. Po. Okay. For me, our call to action is we need to take care of animals. Treat these as your people. Be, not, be kind, be friendly, and also be respectful as well. And we must also continue the fight against animal cruelty as well okay we are finished with our topic let's have our virtual pasyalan our place to go today is chocolate pills in bohol are you guys ready to go to chocolate hills as our virtual tour all right how about you asher so here is chocolate hills it is located where is chocolate hills located what province? Bohol. 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 Bohol, Region 7, and Trabisayas. Okay, guys, have you been to Bohol? Yes. Um, me, me too. Me too. <laughs> so look at these chocolate hills. What can you say about these? What's, how does it look like? Para mga cone shapes po yata. Mm. How about you, Krisha? What this is a chocolate? This is how chocolate pills look like. Yes, it and I can. Made of, it's not made of chocolate, but it's made of. It's made of dry. It's made of forest tree, and forest I think tree. dry. I think dried leaves. Some say that it's made of coral as well, but um, the reason why they're called chocolate pills is because of the, because every summer. The leaves, it, the leaves in the on the hills dry up, making the making the hills turn brown, making them look like chocolate kisses. Hence oh. the name chocolate hills. Some of yes. those were actually destroyed during the Bohol earthquake. So how did you know? Have you been to Bohol? Yes, I've been to Bohol when I was when I was a wee lad. Me, I've been to Bohol too when I was 10, 10 years old. To visit for me i saw the chocolate hills it's a very nice view and i and and also when i went to bohol i i also saw the tarshir which is too far on chocolate hills so for me the chocolate hills na to, the chocolate hills it's made of forestry it's hindi siya made ng chocolate ha hindi made up made ng hindi gawa sa chocolate yung chocolate is gawa lang yan sa forestry so ang chocolate hills is located in Bohol so it was appeared on the 200 peso bill ito yon ito yon di ba Wait lang ha, I'll show you this to you. I will show you yung sa chocolate hills, guys, ha? Ito yun, guys. Nakita ko sa'yo. 200. 
Makikita mo to sa 200 peso bill. Ito siya. Look at this, guys. What's this, guys? That's Chocolate Hills in Bohol. And what's this? Guys? Tashir. 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 Yeah. So, you can see this at the back of the new 200 peso bill in our currency. Also, I will give you some interesting things about Chocolate Hills. So, Chocolate Hills, these are, this is a geological formation in Bohol. It is, yes. it's a tourist attraction of Bohol and It is located in, the main viewing point is in Carmen Bohol, which is about 55 miles, located 55 miles from Tagbilaran. And also, this is a famous tourist spot as well. Especially, um, not only people from Bohol, particularly people from Metro Manila, Cebu, Davao, and foreigners as well. So, it so guys, what can, did you guys enjoy our virtual tour? Yes. So if you want to see Chocolate Hills, how can you go there from Manila? If you want to take a plane, stop in Panglao. There's an airport right there in Bohol. In Bohol. Right, guys? To go okay. to Chocolate Hills, how can you go there? Is it plane? You have to buy plane first and then buy the truck. Buy plane, what airline? Pal, Cebu Pacific, and Air Asia. If they have flights to Tagbil to Chocolate Hills via Tagbilaran. Guys? Yes. Hmm, yes. So how many hours? I think it's an hour, I think. By plane. Okay, so, and also, how about you, Asher? How can you go to Chocolate Hills from Manila? Can you please unmute, please? Okay, okay, po, mag-proclaim po, po, ano, for example, from Manila, then, then, the direct flight po to Cebu, then Cebu to Bohol po. Or you, ano, you non-stop from, from Manila to Bohol from, ano, Tagbilaran po. Yes. Ano, Air Pal, Cebu Pacific, and Air Asia, Philippines. Yes. Yun. And also, how about if you also, if you want to go to Bohol by Cebu, paano? Just think about Right? Yes. And also, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our virtual tour, but let's have some announcements first. Right, go for it. Let's go. For our announcements, Asher, can you do this, please, for this announcement? Oh, of, co of course. I know. At the YouTube, the uh, Nati. Yung ano, yung one day inclusion nation teachers and the the tote bags po. Kung gusto mo bumili to, eto, yung sa one inclusion nation t-shirts, it's available in red, black, blue, white, and yellow. 275 pesos only for all sizes na mismo. Then yung sa tote bags po, is available in either white and black for only 150 pesos for medium and 200 pesos lamp uh, for large po. So, bili na. Bili na ng mga products, products sa ating, ating ano, sa dalawa nito. So, para makatulong kayo sa, sa kapwa.
Okay, and also, we will deliver your ordered products via GoGo Express in NCR and its surrounding areas and also LBC nationwide. Just a reminder, the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online store is temporarily closed for areas under ECQ and MECQ, but it will continue to serve in areas under GCQ and MGCQ areas only. If you purchase our products on Shopee, it won't be affected. Its operating hours are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For a full list of orders, please visit the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page or email us at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Christian, can you do this? Announce this, please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have we have some we have some crucial news. H N I needs help. We need we need enough. We need more funding so that you could and and financial support so that we can um, push out push more projects that can help promote inclusion pro, inclusion for all people with special needs. You can you may you may help by scanning the below and donate using. You could donate via GCash. Always remember, inclusion tayo, one hashtag, one inclusion nation. Okay. Also, 15 out of 76 artworks are sold from Articulate. This is an online exhibit showcasing the inspiring talents of young artists with disabilities. So if you want to see this, visit the virtual art gallery at Articulate Online. Send, out, send them a private message if you wish to purchase any of the remaining artworks for sale. This is a joint between Hiraya Gallery, Special Achievers, in partnership with Ateneo Speed, Autism Strong Philippines, Best Buddies Philippines, the College of Rehabilitation Sciences Student Council, Hands in Inclusion, Little Hands ISCO with UNICEF, Philippine Academy of Occupational Therapists Incorporated, Society of Occupational Therapy Majors, the ABLE Center, Tugon Ateneo, Ubinong PH, and the UP Collegiate Association of Speech Pathologists. Also, we have other events coming up. So, uh, okay. Also, follow and Inclusion Philippines on our social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH, Incurajo, Inclusports, Inclusion, and the online shop. Instagram, Hands in Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and also subscribe to the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So guys, for those who did this, thank you very much as well. Also guys, what are you waiting for? For our products and donations. Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hands in Inclusion Philippines online store. Please help us in Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. And also, we're aiming to raise funds in our organization. And let us have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, better, and a bolder hands in Inclusion Philippines. So guys, for those who did this, thank you very much. Also, Also, to our people watching us tonight, uh, Stephen Thomas, Christopher Salomia, and Vincent Makuse, good evening to you and thank you for watching and commenting as well. So, sana magustuhan itong topic na to this evening. And also, to those who are watching, it means good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope you guys are in a good mood, but not 
You may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. Sana na sumabuting kalagayan ninyo kung hindi meron kayo sapat na panahon para magsiayo sa inyong kalagayan at kagalingan ninyo. Also to those who are watching us on Inclu Radio, thank you very much as well. And also, if you missed this episode, it will be viewed on the next day on the Hudson Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel for your viewing pleasure. And also, I would like to share with you our learning lesson in relation to our topic this evening. Christian, what is our learning lesson for tonight in relation to this topic? Always be kind to one and all, including our furry friends whom we share a house with. How about you, Asher? Of course, for people is ano, to take care of their pets, po, not to be lost, and of course, to be careful po. Lalo na kung, kung, kung ayaw ninyo, mawala yung pets ninyo, no, kailangan ng, ng eat right food, you recommended lang po, then exercise po, then walk, walk lang po, po then good hygiene po, umiyon ng mga vitamins po, then ano, consult sa veterinaria for good pets Okay. For me, what we have learned for our topic tonight is that we, we need to appreciate animals and pets because the reason why we're doing this is this is for them to be happy and also to show pride as well. And we must, and we must also continue the fight against animal cruelty and also in the form of disrespect to animals. These creatures are created by God. Itong mga creatures na to ay ginawa mula sa ating may kapal. Kung may kapal. Wala ang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon. Kaya, hinahan natin itong alagaan natin. Bilang isang tao, hinahan natin ito para alagaan natin ang ating mga alaga, alagang hayop. At kinahan natin ito para hindi lamang sa atin, para sa ating lahat. Kaya, let us not have the time to appreciate our animals and pets. This is not only for ourselves, but also to others. Hindi lamang sa atin, kundi sa ating lahat. Kaya, dapat alaga natin at respetuhin natin ang ating mga alagang hayo para makatulong sila sa kanilang anak buhay. As we wrap up our show this evening, okay, Asher, can you read our final quote okay. for the day? Pets are humanizing. They remind us we have an obligation and responsibility to preserve and nature and care for all life. From James Cromwell. Can you explain this, please? Of course. Of course. Yes, you give me po you ano to preserve to nature and care for all life. Dapat you ano you pets po is ano be ano siya be good po 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 and ano para hindi siya ma ano ma loss po po and ano and be kind po sa kanila po okay so as i will reiterate what asher said so means from the quote from james cromwell ladies and gentlemen pets are humanizing meaning these are the second humans in our lives we need to have an obligation and our responsibility to preserve and to take care of our creatures. 
and this will help us to to, to nurture and care for them for all of their lives christian can you explain this quote please from james Cromwell? pets are humanizing their mind as an obligation and responsibility to serve preserve nurture and care for all life pets are like us breathe in and breathe out pets are like us are living and pet, and like uh, and like us humans who care for each other we should also take care of our pets that's correct ladies and gentlemen okay and also we have three eight minutes to go before we wrap up mm. don't forget that tomorrow is sunday as Hanson inclusion philippines continue to put god first regardless of our faith let us remind that Sunday is a day of rest and faith. So therefore, it will be appreciated for you guys for your silence and for your cooperation as well. So we can give the time to be considered to those attending religious services on a Sunday as well. Okay, and also for those who are watching us on Eagle Raja, thank you, thank you very much for commenting and liking our episode as well if you missed this it will be viewed on the next day on the hansen english and philippines youtube channel as well okay that's a wrap for our episode on magpayo tayo ka inclusion for saturday october 2 2021 i'll be back again in stream year tomorrow for the Inturajo special report on behalf of Inturajo and hansen english and philippines we are your host, Carlos Miguel Tanahashi, together with me, our Christian Chan, and Asher Santos, on behalf of Vincent Acuse, Kevin Suarez, Roiland Marilang, and the Magpayo Tayo team, saying, May the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain na watayo ng buong kapal, may bagong tapang sa one inclusion nation. All together! H and I. H and I. God first. God first. Thank you very much for watching. Good night and bye for now. Bye bye.